Mental health has become one of the major issues being addressed globally. Rosalyn, why do you think mental health has become such a big topic currently? Oh, yeah, oh, okay, thank you so much. Uh, mental issue is becoming a major topic because of uh, what we are experiencing right now. Uh, in, uh, in the recent past, there has been high rate of suicide, there has been high rate of killings, there has been high rate of gender-based violence, mm -hmm. amongst other issues. Um, this is sending people into early deaths, uh, leaving uh, our young children in, as orphans. They end up suffering. Mm -hmm. men, um, so many men are passing through gender-based violence, suffering silently, dying silently. Our women are being battered by their husbands they are not coming out to talk about it. Because if they talk about it, what will people say about us? Mm -hmm. So they are suffering silently. We wake up the following day, this person is killed. Um, in a family, you realize that uh, issues around gender-based violence between father and mother is also coming back to the children. You wake up in the morning, children are killed. So um, all this is coming because of the mental issues that comes as a result of stress and depression. Okay. Yes. So stress and depression are the major issues. Stress and depression being... is the major issue. Where someone is suffering silently, starts developing stress, mm -hmm. and because he, can, he or she cannot talk about it, it develops into depression. Mm -hmm. When it turns into depression, this person doesn't see the importance of living. He decides to commit suicide. He decides to kill those people around, around him or her. The innocent are also killed. Who are the children and how come it gets to these extremes what are what are the certain things that affect someone to actually uh, so that they can say that they are depressed um, the major issue here is people are not able to speak out people are not able to come out and talk about what they are undergoing and what makes us not to come out to talk about it what is behind our mind? What will people say if I say? Mm. So that is the major problem. What will people say? Mm. Yes. And that is a terrible thing. And that is a very terrible thing. And that's a very terrible question. Mm -hmm. If we forget saying that what will people say, mm -hmm. that one will lead us to live our lives until God's time. Wow. Yes. And so what inspired you to get uh, to touch on such a sensitive issue? Um, I, I was living with my aunt sometimes back, not long ago, and um, this aunt of mine was passing through gender-based violence. She was retired, and the husband started abusing her after retirement. Um, there is a time, since I was staying there, in fact, uh, I was like a savior in her life, mm -hmm. because any time the husband would, would come back home, he would... The only, the, the only thing he would do is just to abuse this lady. Ange kuja mpige, amtusi, amwambia takufa kama mbua. This is a woman who was working, but now this is the husband who is, anamwambia takufa kama mbua because anajua ni nini amefanya. So, and if I, I tried to, because I was the only person around, watoto hake hawa kukua, wakati niliona kuna dalili because I knew what would happen, najua ni ule mtu alikuwa kitokelezea, kila mtu anatoroka. No, no, he was not that friendly. And, and like Kitambo, no, no. So, alikuwa na, akikuja, hata unaluza appetite. Ukimona tundio ya nakuja, unaluza appetite. This lady, hata kikumona. There is a time, hata ngetoka kwa soka, akikuja, naenda nyumbani, anasema, mimi ni maogopa kuenda nyumbani, my body inaogopa. Mm -hmm. No, this is, hii ni boma meishi, ameza watoto wake, but ameogopa boma yake, because of the person anaishi na ye kwa nyumba, no, no. Mm -hmm. So, there is a time, Ata mempiga, not once or twice mbele yangu. And um, mimi ni mdogo. Si kwa mdogo vile. But ata ile respect. Unajua, the only thing you can do is either wake le nduru, mm. ama uite mtu, ama upigia watoto wake simu so that they call. Yeah. Katika ile harakati wanampigia simu na atatoka kuenda kurisivu. Na watoto wa muziza mbona unafanya mama hivo. Mm. 
Mm. There is a time I also tried to nilimuuliza unafanya nini akasema il casio. Yes. Because I was trying nilikuwa namuuliza so which kind of life is this? Naona. Mm-hmm. And I remember very well siku moja akaniambia Ross. Siku moja mtamka nimesimama ndani ya kisima. This was so painful. Amesimama ndani ya kisima. Eh, amesimama ndani ya kisima. Hiyo kisima iko na maji. Eh. So what was she meaning? She committing suicide. Yes. That's true. So I was personally I was so affected. Mahali watoto walikuwa they were so affected. Some of them are even outside the country, but they were so affected ambapo hawawezi atafanya kazi yao vizuri. Through that experience, so you decided let me try something that will help resolve this. Actually, I didn't start immediately. It uh-huh. took me long and uh-huh. I never imagined that at some point I would come up with such a thing. But uh, along the way I had a dream mm. that I was talking to some women who had sad face. But then after talking to them they wore a smiling face. And that's what pushed me to to start. So let's talk about the fight depression and stress your organization. What is it all about and what does it do? Fight depression and stress is a community based organization that focuses on issues around mental health which comes as a result of stress and depression. Um those issues some of them are the ones that I'm talking about gender based violence once you are abused you are psychologically affected uko na stress you can't do anything it comes as a result of stress and depression mm. you see um we also talk about uh, issues around early marriage and early teenage pregnancy ukiangalia wasichana wetu wadogo most of them wanaingia into early marriages because zile changamoto ambazo wanapitia for instance a situation ambayo nimekuambia this woman was like watoto wake walikuwa wamekuwa wakubwa you can imagine wangekuwa wadogo wange seek um, love kutoka outside maybe to the young boys they need us wanataka that warmth eh? Mm-hmm. Uko nyumbani hakuna warmth. You can imagine if you see your father is coming and you are running away. Yeah. Then there's no warmth. So you have to seek warmth from outside. Katika hiyo haraka tu unapata ujauzito wa mapema. Mm-hmm. Kuna wale ambao wanaoleka mapema, kuna wale ambao wanafanya nini? Wanakaa inakuwa teenage pregnancy. So kwa wale ambao wanaoleka mapema and then it leads them to early marriage. Umepata ujauzito, baba nyumbani hakaliki, mama nyumbani anapitia. Unaenda unazaa mtoto mwingine unaongeza shida juu ya wengine unaamua no afadhali hata niende niolewe. Mm. Maybe huyo mtu ananipenda afadhali niende nikae naye. Mm. Bila kujua kwamba maybe you are adding problems on top of others mm. because of stress and depression. And then uh, most people uh, it is mostly believed that people who deal with mental health issues are doctors and practitioners who are psych- uh, psychological practitioners. So is it something you trained for or how did you get into this? I'm a social worker. I've done social work and community development to diploma level and um, what I'm doing at the community is okay with me but then tackling issues around mental health I'm talking out of experience I'm talking it from the bottom of my heart and I'm passionate about it but then then me usema ya kwamba can you just create something positive out of the challenge that you undergo mm-hmm. it's through the challenge that I went underwent that made me come up with fight depression and stress with like minded persons and because i didn't do i didn't take a counseling psychology as a, as a, as a course then uh, it has given me um, an opportunity to go back to class yeah. and sit for that counseling and psychology mm-hmm. yes so currently you're studying yeah, i'm studying I'll, i'll be sitting for the exams in march hmm. yes we module 1 yeah. yeah and uh, what activities are you involved in as feeds mm, we have several activities to con um, circles of healing Circles of healing we run it in prisons. We reach out to women in prisons. We offer psychosocial support uh, in enclosed spaces like prison, children's home. We offer psychosocial support to women in prison. When we talk to women in prison, we realize that kuna makosa ingine iliwapeleka hapo ndani wangezuia. For the case yenye nimekuambia the experience I had. This woman ni mtu ange fight with husband wake, but because of the respect na zile tradition tunasema bwana mwanamke lazima heshima mwanaume. Alikuwa anamheshimu, anamgonga ananyamaza tu lakini angerudi kumgonga ama hata msukume kwa ukuta aage angejipata prison. Anafungwa life, si ndio? So ukipata prison unapata mwanamke waligombana na walevi 
no, no. Mm-hmm. na akachukua sufuria kamgonga yeah, ikampeleka ika. huko okay. no, no. Mm-hmm. so anaacha watoto nyumbani wakiwa wanateseka so we talk to them we offer psychosocial support tunafanya reintegration mm-hmm. and then uh, we have wake lock to ease stress this is a program we run in schools and to young people so hapa hivi we discuss we tunaenda kwa shule tuna encourage kusoma na tunawaambia this time for everything tunawa discourage kuingia into early sexual relationship because wakiingia katika early sexual relationship hii iko most likely kuwatuma into gender based violence naona hmm. kwa sababu this this huyu ni mtoto ameolewa early marriage ampata ujauzito wa mapema atatoa mimba they have not processed whatever is happening around exactly. them exactly no no mm. so wanafunga future yao but we have the power in education mm. so that's what we do in school and uh, work a lot to lose stress mm. we have community engagement where we have uh, we have women women and men who come together to kona hii program ya table banking mtu anakuja na shilingi zake 100 anaweka mwingine 200 anaweka mtu anachukua kalon kesha anakuja na ka interest. Mm. Akileta kale ka interest at the end of the year wanaweka pamoja na unawapata mtu anaenda nyumbani na ka kitu kazuri. Mm. So at least anaweza jivunia. This woman has amesave kale ka 100 100 na pia kale ka lona ambaye anachukua anaenda anaanzishia ka biashara. Hata ngoja huyo bwana akuje jioni ndio amuombe shilingi 20 ya kwenda kununua mboga ambayo itakuwa chanzo cha vita pale nyumbani. Mm. And then that is uh, community engagement we have a walk to a healthy mind we we do short walks to sensitize people on the importance of speaking out on the importance of having a good mental health mm-hmm. on the importance of ha- dealing with their challenges and discouraging that suicide is never an option and so is killing Yes. And uh, do you have partners who you're working with maybe doctors who also help when it comes to such extreme cases as the issue with your aunt? Yes. As I said before I've done social work and community development. Mm. Kuna zile cases zinaweza kuja ndio uzi unaweza jaribu ku deal nazo. But those zenye ziko complicated hata zenye tunaona hatuwezi we refer them to psychologists. We have psychologists on the board that we that help us we do referrals. Mm. We partner with the different organization in our activities. Mm-hmm. We've done suicide prevention day. Uh, we partner with different uh, we, we we are part of CSO Busia CSO. So we reach out to different organizations. We do this awareness together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like like as we speak right now we are organizing for mental health day. We are targeting to reach out to 100 to 500 youths at Lupe University. Mm-hmm. We want to reach out to those youths na kwa encourage kwamba the only thing they can do now is education. Ile ile kifungu ambacho wamepewa na wazazi wao. Ni masomo. Yes, ni masomo. Mm-hmm. But not into early sexual relationship ama drugs and all that because wanafunga maisha yao ya future and that will they will end up losing their lives mm-hmm. differently. Yeah. Apart from the physical meetings, do you have other platforms where you reach out to your audience? Yeah, we have social media, we have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have um um how link LinkedIn. Give us the handles. Uh Roswandaki Fight Depression and Stress. Mm-hmm. Roswandaki is my personal mm-hmm. page. Then we have Fight Depression and Stress on Facebook. And then we have um Twitter Fight Depression and Stress. LinkedIn we have fight depression and stress we also have Roswandaki interesting yes. so how has the journey been since you started fit it has not been a walk in the park kama tu kawaida um but uh, i i believe ya kwamba it was passion um, i think god wanted me to do that because uh, tumepitia challenges mingi of course uh, dealing with issues around mental health and you are not specialist you can easily land into depression by yourself mm. because you get to hear some stories sad stories and you are like oh wow so i'm much better off but then at the same time uh kukosi watu wa kupiga vita tumekutana na watu wa kutupiga vita wakatuambia sasa wewe unatuambia nini na hata wewe si psychologist don't you need papers and i told and i was okay with that because i i told them that uh, we create challenges we create something positive out of the challenges that we undergo Um I encourage the power of speaking out not because najitangaza mm-hmm. but be, because uh it helps me to relieve eh? it helps me it helps it helps other people to realize that 
kumbe huyu anapitia hii if i speak about this person who tells me kwamba Rose, you don't have papers here psychology why are you doing this he needs to realize that we are creating awareness mm -hmm. and we are saving souls and we are also creating that platform for him or her to come and help this vulnerable person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is a time a guy passed by our office this guy from kulingana na story alikuwa anatuambia he was going to commit suicide but because of this office mm -hmm. the word fight depression and stress this this guy is alive today alikuja kwa ofisi machozi ikiwa inamtoka akaongea tuliongea vizuri na kaniambia madam sita commit suicide ndio hii kamba nilikuwa nimebeba and uh, speaking of that not most not many men are able to speak out many men wanakufa in silence mm -hmm. kimwanaume that is yeah. what they say kimwanaume yeah. you have to be strong according to the community standards as mm -hmm. a man you have to be strong mm -hmm. how do you deal with that actually you know what we are the, the creating awareness is actually creating something positive men are speaking out ukiangalia kwa table banking yetu tuko na wanaume they are also championing others to speak out mm -hmm. and as we speak right now that is a man who came that is a man who came to speak eh mm -hmm. na sasa hizi imemsave kwa sababu watoto wake wako na baba yao mm -hmm. wife ako na bwana yake and now he's struggling for the kids mm -hmm. so uh, as we speak right now wanaume wameanza kujitokeza pole pole na kuongea kwa nini hawako naongea kwa sababu hawako wamepata ile information the importance ya kuongea mm -hmm. yeah so what can you tell us is the importance of talking or speaking out one kuna mzigo ambao utakuwa umeotoka kwa mwili wako wakati uko na stress katika mwili wako mwili unakuwa mzito kuna mzigo unakuwa ngo umeubeba you know this person mwenye anaenda na commit suicide ama anaenda kuua akili zake pia zinakuanga zimebeba mzigo eh imebeba mzigo mpaka kumekuwa na giza kwa akili shikashi or he cannot think this is a bad thing nani nani yako normal anaweza ruka ndani ya maji akufe nobody but because akili zake aliweka mambo kwa kifua akaweka mambo kwa kichwa akili zimekuwa dark mm -hmm. this person can never think yeah mimi usema ni balloon wakati unapuliza una kwa balloon balloon inafura inafura unapuliza ikiendelea inafura mpaka inakuja ina burst yeah. that's hapo ndio tunakwanga tumefika wow. so wakati tunaongea ni kama umepuliza hiyo balloon na umeachilia kashimo hewa inatoka mm. akili yako inaanza kupata mwangaza pole pole then you get to start understanding that oh what what nani nilikuwa nataka kufanya nini mm. unaona so he anaanza kupata kujielewa pole pole mm. so when we speak out kuna mzigo utakuwa umeutoa when we speak out uta realize ya kwamba you are not alone there are people who pass through a lot than wewe Mm. Mimi wanapea an example. Wakati unaenda hospitali mm. unaumwa na kichwa. Unafika hospitali umekaa kwa laini unangoja kutibiwa. Mtu ametoka huko amepata accident. Amebebwa. He's in pain. Daktari atakwambia mama tulia kidogo. Mm. Tushughulikie huyu. Ile ile ambayo utaona huyu mtu akipitia utabeba mzigo wako uende nyumba <laughs> uchukue pain killers. Mm. Utarudi hospitali siku nyingine and I'm telling you au utakuwa msika. Mm. Because what you've seen. So whenever you have a problem and you feel you have a problem when you speak out mwingine atakwambia eh you are much better off wacha mimi nikwambia yangu na utaanza kumwambia and uh, this means that uh, mental health it's not a problem it's a spiritual thing especially in the african culture so have you encountered such people who are so resistant to accepting that this is a mental condition and i need to seek help yeah we have and uh, just to give an example Uh, there is a time I was talking to border border riders here in America and one of them akaniambia madam hata kama unatuambia mimi hata depression by this siwezi pigwa nayo mm. nikamwambia oh really at eh yeah. nikamwambia ni sawa lakini uzuri alisema, alisema mchana ilikuwa saa tisa around saa tisa mchana he didn't take even a month alikunywa dawa ya mchwa but she nev he never died mm. yeah these are anaongeleleanga wanasema anga mkikuwa na fora muniite mm. mm. so so uh -huh. Uh, watu wana believe ya kwamba hii issue ya suicide sijui killing sijui nini ni nini ni kitu yenye nafuata sijui hizo 
new chavi new chavi and, and all that and but now they have forgotten that when i'm depressed and i decide to commit suicide then that's what i have i will have created in my com- in my lineage mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so we have to prevent these things so that it's not yeah. it doesn't follow the lineage isn't mm-hmm. yeah so it's not actually tradition it's, I, I don't believe it's tradition, but it's something that people are creating themselves. Mm-hmm. But dawa ya hiyo ni kuongea. Dawa ya kwanza tu ni kuongea. Yeah. And are there any challenges you faced since you started and until now? There are so many challenges. When I when kwanza when we started, what we we are small angels we've come. Ungesikia shida za watu mpaka ukirudi kwa nyumba unakuwa mgonjwa. And I had to avoid some cases. Because me mwenye kwanza si psychologist. They are giving me tough ch- tough cases, you know? And by that time you started, you, are, you, you don't know any psychologist, you know, ukianza ujuangi, it's when now you start connecting. Mm-hmm. Unajua ukianza kitu, unanza ku, the yeah. kama spark, you know, unanza kuguza ule. Very polyphetic. Yes, sure. yeah. So, uh, nilikuwa nasikia hizo, zilikuwa zinafikamali, zinaniweza, but then uh, with the time, nikaza kuavoid kwaza kusikiza mingi. Mm-hmm. Hatu uneza sikiza moja kwa siku because of because that time nataka kuishi mpaka siku yangu ya mwisho so tu, nilikuwa najaribu ku avoid kwanza but sasa hizi tunaendelea tu vizuri mm-hmm. yeah so where do you see yourself as feeds in the future maybe 5 to 10 years uh, we see ourselves very far because uh, tumetoka mbali we started on nothing mm-hmm. wakati tulianza hiyo organization i was doing at the community without knowing where i was heading mm-hmm. or where we were heading Uh, after some time, there was an advertisement by the Border Hub mm-hmm. yeah, that they want to have these youths who are championing for something in the community and they are not well known. Mm-hmm. And um, they happened to set an interview and I, I, I was among, the, among the, the winners who were, among the 12 winners, the final one, to, take, to undertake the, a, a six-month course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we were... We were awarded as a promising community initiative, and actually, it's promising because so far, personally, I've won an award as a peace champion, wow. an international award. An organization has won, has won an award as a promising community initiative. Mm-hmm. Uh, recently, I won an award as Audacity. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've won several awards, but okay. one international, yeah. Mm. Mm. So you aim to take feeds Mbali? Mbali sana, and recently I was uh, I, we, feeds was was one of the 15 organizations that were taken to Kisumu for 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 capacity building, mm-hmm. and now we are coming back to implement. So. Um, even in one year's time when you come back, mm. you get fits very, very far. And even we intend to change the name. Mm. Unajua ukianza kama mtoto, uh, unaituanga kama baba, sindio? Eh. And then, <laughs> jinako inarudi yenyewe sasa. So, tulianza na fits, fight depression and stress. But then, uh, tuna, tunapata ya kwamba, we are also into agriculture. Mm. We have uh, identified some women, when you undergo gender-based violence, tunapanda nao mboga. But then mtu haizi elewa now, how does it relate to feeds, to fight depression and stress? Mm-hmm. You have to sit with him or her down to explain. So reason, very soon we shall be changing the name. Mm-hmm. Feeds will remain the same, but of course we shall have different meaning of feeds. Mm-hmm. But still under mental health. But What meaning is that? Tunatoka kujua ndio next time tukiona different name tunajua ah bado ni wale. Tu, mtajua tu. Atuje <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. nini sasa unajua tunaweza sema mm. alafu nini? Ibakfire. Eh, ah, ipate nyingine hapo mbele. <laughs> so wacha ibaki chini ya maji. <laughs> And uh, about uh, uh, poverty. Uh-huh. This uh, has been an issue because of lack of employment especially for the youths. Mm-hmm. What can you say to the youth members who are out there? who maybe do not have jobs ama they like that hawana ile motisha ya kufanya kitu because maybe they are stressed or depressed i want to tell them something mm-hmm. there is enough space in the sky for everybody to fly i never knew there is a space in the sky mm-hmm. until when i studied feeds why when what um uh, it's a challenge unajua ningejikunja nilijikunja nikaona hakuna umuhimu wa kuishi kama wewe mama anafanywa hivi sawa hata mimi siziolewa like sasa unajua utateswa lakini sasa nikasema maybe i didn't know but god alitaka ni come up with this one kuonyesha watu ya kwamba we can create something positive out of the challenges that we undergo hiyo challenge ingeniweka chini hata mimi hata singe win an international award 
unaona singekuwa nimejulika na hata mungekuwa hapa thank you so much for what you have just shared i'm sure kuna mtu pale nje anajua i need to do something but they are depressed they cannot move they cannot do anything but through your testimony they have seen na wameelewa that we need to speak out so mm. thank you so much and may god aendele kukuinua as feeds so that you can reach out to magnitudes thank you and uh, maybe just to add on that mm. uh, anybody or any organization that is maybe hearing us sisi tuko mashinani mm. we are ready for partnership let them come so that uh, they also support us to fike mbali wow yes ni vizuri asante there is enough room and space in the sky for every bird to fly do you have what it takes do you feel you need to go up to the sky don't let depression put you down don't let stress put you down all you need to do is stand up shout out and speak out because this is it wewe ndio tegemeo ya wewe familia yako and the generations to come this has been youth in action i am nyangweso grenis This is the way to do it. This is the way